two jobs I've been putting off on the linear for a little while. I think today's finally the day to jump in and get them done. We're kind of caught up on water right now. So I think if the linear is going to be down for a couple of days, today's the day to do it. The first job, the riser that the linear hose hooks up to has a pretty bad leak in it, the pipe that comes out of the ground. It's a bit of a river running down the field to the low spot and it's building up pretty bad down there. Wouldn't mind a lake on our property somewhere. Just really prefer it not in the middle of our squash field. I don't know what's going on down there. I just gotta dig it out and find out. Second job's over on the end of the linear. Second job, the drain cap on the end of the linear has a really bad leak in it. I tried welding on it last year, patching it a little bit. But there's just no good metal left. I gotta cut it off and stick a whole new one on there. I think it's time to mobilize the aerial welding unit. Let's go. This is the new cap here. Ah. This is the part that gets welded onto the linear. I'll have to trim out a little bit around it. And this is the bottom part. Got to cut a circle and weld it on so it's closed up. Gonna do that first. I'm gonna make the circle uh, about a sixteenth of an inch smaller, I think, and then that'll give me the corner to weld on versus having to weld on the side. Two and fifteen sixteenths. Radius, select it, export it, import it in the sheet cam, which lays out the paths for the machine to read. It's time for the second computer. Dedicated laptop for the CNC table. Have a quick zero of the machine. Load the G code from the other computer. And hit go. Perfect. For this other piece, I thought I would make a template to show where to cut so it fits up on the pipe correctly. Pretty easy to do in SketchUp. Draw my six inch diameter circle, pull it up a foot, make a copy of it, and rotate it 90 degrees. So now I can select the bottom part, intersect faces with model. It leaves the shape I need to cut. Using an external plugin, I can select all these sides, unwrap and flatten faces. And there's my shape right down there. And it should be printing inside. I'll run and grab it. Got it. Crap, I ran with scissors. It 
Just a little bit of tape. There we go. Let's run up to the shop, get this welded. I think I made a bra. Ooh. It's always nice having a handle on these caps too. Plasma cutter time. I think I've got everything I need. Generator, air compressor, welder, plasma, grinders, sorter tools. Just know where to stand in this thing. Battery's low on the generator. I was afraid of that. It seemed pretty low at the shop when I tried it, but I brought the jumpers. This thing's a screamer! I think it's the loudest thing on the farm! I think I got most of the cut. It's a slow go. These are the holes right here. It's not quite enough generator for both the air compressor and the plasma. show you but you gotta promise not to look too closely at my welds they're a little gnarly had some big gaps in there I had to fill beautiful filled in all the holes with a thick coating of paint I'm sure that'll keep it watertight
Done. Whew, that wore me out. Let's go dig a bunch. Muddy. Got a couple stitches in my knee two days ago. Doctor told me no digging for two weeks. He has a no digging is my passion. There's no way I'm taking two weeks off from digging. This is what I was born to do. I think it's the threaded fitting that goes into the T on the buried on the buried mainland down there. I think it's just cracked up top. There's a ton of water in it still. Here comes the water now. Crap! Go with my boots. Well, I didn't quite get as much done as I'd hoped. Drake and I are tired. And the water's just gonna keep coming for a while. So I think I'm gonna let it sit for the night. And then I think uh, I'm gonna come back out tomorrow morning, it should be drained. Sun's about to go down. Here's the broken riser. I'm just gonna cut it off here and stick a new fitting on it. Primer. Glue. Let that dry a little while. I think about four hours is usually good. put grease on these otherwise you can't screw them in as far as you'd like. I think that's it. I'm gonna get picked up and I think I'll go ahead and move the linear hose up to the next riser. Get the linear all ready to go. Then let it sit for a couple more hours while the glue dries on this. I'll go ahead and leave this uncovered so that I can check and make sure it's not leaking after I turn the water on.
All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it holds.